Okay, in this exercise, we're gonna set up a web proxy server. I'm using uh, Mint version 19, and we're going to install Squid and SquidGuard as a web proxy server to filter URL requests on our network. To, so to start with, the first thing I'll do is I'll check my IP address, make sure that I have an IP address on the network, and looks like I do. And let me make sure I can ping out looks like I can all right perfect so I'll clear my screen and get started so the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have up-to-date package of repositories of software to download so sudo app dash get update I'll put in my password and you can see I'm getting the most up-to-date software packages on my system so I can stall current software. Then I'll do a sudo app-get install the locate program because I'm going to be looking for files on my system and want to find the files quickly and locate's going to help me with that. Once you install locate you need to index your files on your system so it's a sudo update db and that should index the files and now I'm ready to install squid. So sudo app-get install squid3 I'll have to do I want to continue yes I do so I'll hit enter and it should install all the up-to-date packages uh, for squid once that's finished I want to make sure that the service started or the program started the server started nicely or cleanly so I'll do a sudo systemctl and status squid. You can see I've got a green light here and it says active. I got some messages here, some log messages. Looks good. All right, cue to quit. And we can also just double check to see that it's listening on port 3128. So I'll do a sudo netstat and I'll put in some options here and I'll pipe the output to grep and I'll grep for the word squid and if I do that alright there it is squid alright this is even though this is IPv6 I can see that it's listening um, on port 3128 and it says listen here so if it's listening on IPv6 on port 3128 then it's also uh, listening for uh, under uh, IPv4 so I'm good with that I can also look at the look for the process by doing a sudo PS I'll put in some options here dash AUX and I'll also pipe this to grep and I'll grep for the word squid and you can see here I'm getting some output here so these are the lines in the processes that are running uh, you can see here access log configuration file so yeah it looks like it's working let's see here what else do we want to see okay it looks like it's running under proxy so that's good a proxy user account now that um, I've done that we want to edit our squid configuration file and then restart squid so to do that first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rerun the update sudo update DB because I just installed new software new server and so I need to re-index those files to make sure they're part of the index and now I say okay sudo locate show me where the squid.conf file is and I can see here that squid.conf is located in root directory etc forward slash squid forward slash squid.conf. All right, perfect. So now I can just edit that file. I'll do a sudo nano dash c for line numbers and I'll put in that path root directory etc forward slash squid forward slash squid.conf. We open it up and here's the squid configuration file so you can read pretty much everything that you're able to do with uh, the squid server is listed in here in these comments 
in this information, which makes it pretty easy. All right, so what am I looking for? I'm going to go down here to lines. I'm going to go to around, just scrolling down. I'm going to go to line around 990. At least that's what I have here in my instructions from doing this last year. And so I could have just actually searched for it, which would have been quicker. But once I got started, I got to finish. So here we go. I'm scrolling down. This is not the optimal way to do this. All right, here we go. We're getting closer. There it is. So it's still around line 990. It's actually 980. But you can see here these ACL access list lines. And let's see here. Nope, it's actually a little bit farther. Nope, I'm searching for it. You know what? I'm going to need to find this. So I'm not finding it. So, oh, here it is. Actually, it is. It's on line 975. So it's commented out. You can see these lines right here that are commented out. And it says um, ACL local network source, possible internal network. So if you're going to be accessing this server from your internal network, you probably want to permit, um, I don't know, internal network type addresses, right? Private address networks. So you can see here that I'm running a 192.168.3 network. So if I uncomment this, then that will allow um, internal networks that start with 192.168 slash 16. So any networks that start with 192.168 will be allowed to access it. And if you want, you're not sure right now, you could just permit all of the private networks. However, that's not necessary. And in fact, I could say no ACL local net source and change this specifically to the network I'm on, but I'll leave it like this slash 16. So as long as you're on a 192.168 network, this will work. Then I'm going to go down and I'm going to look for. Um, so now that we've set up and said this is this local network's OK. Let's see here. The next line that we have to permit is around line 1200 HTTP access allow localhost so this will allow this computer to access the web proxy but I want to allow any computers on the local network and it's right here on line 1190 I can uncomment this and now HTTP underscore access allow local network so that looks good and then I also want to make sure that the server is listening on port 3128. Um, to do that, I'm going to just do a find. So I'll do a control W. Let's see here. Control W. Where is the line that starts with 3128? And I'll hit enter. And you can see here that it jumps us down to line 1600. Squid normally listens to port 3128. And you can see here it says, HTTP underscore port 3128. It's already uncommented. And this is where if you wanted to change Squid to listen on a different port, you could. But this is the typical port for Squid, 3128. That looks good. So I'm good. So what I want to do is, is I want to save and quit. So I'm going to do a Control X, Y, and Enter to save and quit. And then I want to reload this service or restart the service. So let's see here. Now I could do it with a, let's see if I can do sudo systemctl um, reload squid. And if I do that, this sudo systemctl reload squid, it just reloads the changes to the configuration file, which is a lot quicker than doing a sudo systemctl restart squid that takes a little bit longer notice it's it's thinking about it it's thinking about it it's thinking about it. it's restarting the process um, so reload if you make changes to the configuration files better it's quicker okay now that we've done that we've edited squid let's see if it worked so first thing I'll test is from this local host I'll test it out so I'll open up Firefox 
let's see what I'll do is I'll go to preferences and I'll scroll all the way down network settings and I'll say use uh, system proxy settings manual proxy configuration and I'll say go to whatever this IP address is so I'll just say to myself right on port 3128 and click um, I could use this proxy for all protocols and I'll say OK and now All right, it looks like it worked, and that information would have been redirected to the proxy server. Let's just check to make sure that's the case. So I'll tail dash f, let's see here, no, sudo tail dash f, and we're going to look at root var log there should be a folder named squid in there and it should have an access dot log and you can see here sudo tail dash f and this will force new content into the the last 10 lines of the access log notice you can see some information here so if I go here and I go to another website let's say like I don't know ESPN.com and you can see the ESPN connections happening here. So it's working. Not only that, I could go here to my, this is my Firefox for my Windows host here that's hosting this virtual machine. And I can go to preferences here too, and it should work from another computer on the network. And essentially this is another computer on the network. So I'll go down here and I'll say network settings use proxy settings so normally it'd be a no proxy um, use proxy settings or manual proxy configuration go to 192.168.3.93 that's where my Linux Mint virtual machine is located on port 3128 I use this proxy for all protocols I'll click OK and then open up a new tab and I could go to um, another website, mlb.com. Let's see here. And you can see I'm not getting any, I'm not getting any love here right now. So that should be working. However, it's probably, maybe I'm getting denied here. Um, the connect is getting denied possibly because of maybe the firewall I can see here I'm getting something the connection is timed out so there may be a firewall issue here so let's let's deal with that so we'll say all right we want the firewall Administ preferences firewall configuration um, I think this is from this other website this one right here so I'll close this close this for right now minimize this all right um, put in my password open up the firewall and we're gonna add a rule to allow squid so rules and let's just see if there's a rule for squid here in add a firewall as super user the application I'll scroll down here come on application filter let's see here squid move faster All right, so I'm not seeing a squid. Oh, hold on. 
Maybe I wasn't all the way. Okay, I'm not seeing squid, so we'll have to add one manually. Um, advanced or simple TCP squid on port 3128 squid and squid so it allowed in 3128 for IPv4 and for IPv6 and now if I refresh I can access it and here's MLB and back to here we can see these connections here are probably coming from MLB MLB right here. MLB advanced media. Okay. And it says, uh, yeah. So that looks good. You can see that the squid server is intercepting this traffic and I can see the access logs right here. And so it looks like it worked. Um, it worked from my local computer here from Mint itself and it also worked from another computer on the network which was my Windows computer here hosting the virtual machine by I had to change and put in the proxy into the network settings manual proxy the IP address of the Mint squid server port 3128 and set that up and make sure you remember to turn that off once you're done with this exercise otherwise you'll wonder why you've lost internet connection it's because you still have your proxy settings activated so remember that at the end you will want to return to not using that proxy setting um, probably right so also I had to put in a firewall rule so I went to rules and I had to add a rule and I added a simple rule here I said squid allow in TCP port 3128 and that seemed to work out pretty good so so now I'm it's going being allowed through my firewall alright so the next part we're gonna add squid guard I wanted to point out something else too if if you're not good with working with your firewall you can go in here and under the public firewall you can start it by um, by once again finding it under preferences firewall configuration and then stopping the, just simply stopping the public firewall and you may want to stop the home and office firewall too. make sure that all three on the status is set to off or what you could do is is you could open up a prompt and do like a sudo ufw stop and just stop the firewall um, that way as well See, if I go here and do a sudo ufw stop, that would stop it. See, I can do a sudo ufw status and put in my password. And it gives me status on the firewall, basic firewall rules that are current. So that's another option um, if you're having trouble connecting and you need to get that firewall off. 